Hey guys, so welcome to another installment of Vlogist. Thank you so much for tuning in. So I thought I'd give you like a little update on Whole30, like what's going on, and then get into some favorites that I've been like, things I've been loving like pretty much all summer. Um, but we'll get to those in just a second. Um, and don't worry, the next handful of videos are gonna be um, up from me. I'm gonna upload them, and then Hannah's gonna upload a whole bunch as well. She's traveling right now for business, so she's on the road, and it's, I mean, you guys know how it is when you're traveling anyways, it's super tough. But you need someone to like film you. So um, when she gets back from her business trip, um, she's doing a lot of speaking in Texas. Um, she'll be back next week, so you'll be getting a lot of videos from her. So don't worry, you'll get all of that. Okay, so as far as the whole 30 goes, um, it's actually been going really, really well. Like we're just almost, I'm almost through the first week and I mean, it's, it's, it has required like a lot of planning. Like I think that's for me has been the most challenging, but as far as the eating goes, um, it's been really, really good. It's really reminded me it really shows the holes in your diet, if that makes sense. It, it has really shown me how many like quick fixes that I use um, or was using um, as a big bulk part of my diet. So this has actually been a really, really good challenge for me. And granted, I'm just in the first week. Talk to, me, talk to me in another week or two. I might be super cranky, but right now things are going good. So leave me in the comments below. Tell me how's Whole30 going for you if you're trying it or if you've already done it, if you have any tips or you know, any kind of encouragement or anything for me and anybody else in the MyFitspiration community that's doing um, Whole30, leave it down below and let us know. Share the love, people. It's all about sharing the love. Um, anyway, so let's get into some favorites. So these kind of videos are my absolute favorite videos to watch on YouTube ever. Like at the beginning of each month, I get so excited because I'm like, oh, people are gonna post favorites. Oh, because to me, you know, watching what people are really liking and what people are enjoying. It's stuff that you may have never even thought of. It may be something that you're looking for. And I just kind of love to hear other people's perspective on things. So anyways, I thought I'd just jump into some favorites. So I have a couple different categories here. So we're just gonna race through these really quick. I'll have everything listed below, um, the names of everything, and then you can find them online or find them, you know, in different stores near you. But the first things first is a sports bra. And you guys know I'm always looking for a good sports bra. Um, and I have found various different ones throughout the years that I really, really like, but I have really, really grown to love the Victoria's Secret sports bras. And I've shown you some in the past, but this particular one is called the Player. And this is one in black. And as you can see, it's just, um, I like it because it comes up fairly high. Um, not like super high, so you feel like you're choking, but not low, so you feel like your ladies are just gonna like fall out. And I teach spin class, so I'm like over a bike all the time. And my thing is, I'm like, people don't pay money to just watch my girls like jiggle around. You y'all catch what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, but I really, really like this. It doesn't have any padding, but it's nice, thick, sturdy material. Um, it's got a nice wide band at the bottom and it's, I don't know if you can see, but it's got a really awesome like keyhole design in the back and the way it's cut, it kind of holds in all of that like bra hangover that we all have. It just, it's like cut really beautifully. And I don't know, I just really, really like it. They are fairly expensive. I think they run about $29 a piece, but if you look for different sales all the time, they do like a $10 off, or if you sign up for emails and stuff, you can find that. So Victoria's Secret, the player sports bra. The second thing I've been loving a lot on the lines of workout gear is these cute graphic tees from um, Forever 21. I think this is like 14 bucks. I Instagram this. If you follow me on Instagram, you've seen it. This is My Little Pony. It's one of those little muscle tees. It's kind of like cut low on the sides. Um, it's just a really, really nice length. I mean, it's $14. You wear it, it's cute. You can wear it, you know, for a couple months and then when it gets grungy, you throw it away and you get a new one. But so far, these have been holding up really, really well and I've been wearing these a ton. Oh, another one I have, this is another one. Um, it's just a Pink Floyd one. This one's a little bit longer and I don't know if you can see, but it's all shredded up in the back. So, I don't know, it's just super fun to wear. It's just something different than your traditional tank top. And I like to spend money on my sports bras and my pants. And then um, I like to find cheaper alternatives for my top. So those are some good ones to look out for. Okay, moving into, this is kind of a random favorite for me. Well, not random because I do like to read, but um, I just recently started The Power of, ha the Power of Habit by Charles Duhigg. And I really, really like it so far. It's very, Sciency, I think is a good way to put it. Um, but I really like it. Um, it's a book about why we do what we do in life and business. And um, 
I think if you're on any kind of weight loss journey or if you know anybody who's on a weight loss journey, this is a great, great book. It's not specifically about weight loss, but there are things about why we make certain choices the way we do, why we want to eat certain things um, over others, why, um, how long it takes to develop a habit, um, why and how habits work in your brain. And it's just a really, it's very enlightening. And I think if anybody's on any kind of health journey or if you just like, you know, interesting reads, this is a really, really good one. So the power of habit, awesome. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on to snacks because let's be honest, who doesn't love a good snack? I'm a sucker for a snack. Um, so obviously been doing Whole30, so I usually go for Quest Bars, which I love, but um, you know, right now I'm not doing any dairy or any additive sweeteners, so Quest Bars are off the table for the next 30 days, which is fine. It's a good switch up, um, you know, really starting to look for new products and kind of switch to maybe things that, um, you know, are different and things you wouldn't normally reach for. So in a pinch, when I really needed something, especially like after a workout, when I'm just like, you know, you really need to like get something in your body or you're feeling really hungry or right before I work out or even in the afternoon, like around that three, four o'clock time, I get so hungry. So I've been reaching for these. Um, I haven't been doing it every day, but every couple of days I've been having one. It's a Kits Organic Fruit and Nut Bar. This is the cashew one and this is uh, the Berry Almond and I love both these. They're by Cliff. Um, I found these um, at Whole Foods, but I know most grocery stores carry Cliff Bars now, so you could probably they're probably readily available everywhere. But what I love about this, there are only four ingredients in this. There are organic, uh, this is the cashew one, organic dates, organic cashews, organic almonds, and sea salt, and that's it. And one bar is 170 calories, and it's just a really good, quick grab that's just Whole30 approved, great for you, I'm loving it. They're very similar to Lara Bars, if you've had Lara Bars, which I absolutely love, but you know, sometimes you can't find Lara Bars and these are really readily available, so yeah. Moving on to my favorite parts, the beauty. Um, so I, you may or may not know, the big trend right now in foundation um, is the real thin serum -y kind of foundation, and Giorgio Armani, oh, I think I have one right here actually, yeah, the Maestro Foundation, um, which came out a couple years ago, they were kind of the first ones to kind of create this technology of the real thin, um, oil-free foundation that um, goes on very, very slick and very thin, but gives great coverage um, and really lasts for a long time. So um, I really like the Armani one, um, but I recently saw the Dr. Pericone um, No Foundation Foundation Serum um, foundation. That was a lot of foundations in there. Um, but I love Dr. Pericone. I have a, couple, a cleanser and a moisturizer from his line and I love his stuff because I'm getting older and I'm really starting to really think about anti-aging things and all that kind of stuff. This has a broad spectrum SPF of 30. I have it in the color number two light to medium. That is was my next thing. This is the only downfall to this is it only comes, I think, in three or four shades. So it's supposed to kind of like, because it's like a thin serum -y foundation, it's supposed to kind of color correct and kind of mix to your perfect shade. I have a very yellow undertone. These foundations have a very yellow kind of more of the yellowish tint than the peach undertones. So these work very well for me. So if you have similar olivey kind of skin to me or very, very pale skin, which they have a light one, these should work really, really well. Now, one thing they do have is they have a no bronzer bronzer um, that goes with it and you can mix these together to add a little bit darker. Um, a couple weeks ago, I was just a little bit more tan. I'd been outside and I did add a couple drops to this. Um, you only need one light thin layer. It's very, very nice. I mean, as you can see, it is very, I mean, it's it's very liquidy. It's very, very thin. Um, but I really, really like it. If you'd like to see like a tutorial um, on how to apply these and kind of like a little review kind of demo, leave me in the comments below and let me know if you'd like to see it um, and we can get that up. Um, okay, so that was foundation. Now, the other thing, with it being summer, like I'm just kind of obsessed with skin. Like I want my skin to look really, really beautiful, really fresh and glowy, and that requires three products. It requires a bronzer, it requires a good blush, and it requires a kick butt highlighter. And I think I have found my trifecta 
of those products. So let's start with the bronzer. Now bronzers are like super tough, I find, because they're either too ashen or too red and or they make you just look like you got hit by the dirty stick. And let me tell you, I have gone out of the house many a time and looked in the mirror and been like, oh my gosh, like literally looking like I fell out of like the dirty tree and hit every stick along the way. We've all been there. Um, but this particular powder I've been loving for longer than just this month. I bought it back maybe January, February, and I am loving it as you can tell because I've finally hit pan on it. Um, this is Max Studio Care Blend Press Powder. This is actually just a pressed powder. And the thing I love about the Studio Care Blend is that it was really, it was designed to mimic skin. So it's not even supposed to look like a product on the face. It is literally supposed to look like your skin. And I'm telling you, it does, it is gorgeous. So this color that I have is medium deep. It comes all the way into a very light shade that you could use just literally to like set your foundation. Um, but I love to use this as a bronzer and it doesn't have any shimmer in it. And it is just the most perfect color um, if you have medium, a medium skin tone, um, especially in the summertime. I use it with a really big brush. I use it with this Bobbi Brown bronzer brush and I just circle it all over my cheeks, take it up a little bit through the temples and it down across the chin and it just gives your face a nice bronze glow. I do not use this to contour, that's a whole different product and application, but I do love this for bronzing. Um, so that's awesome. So then after I've got my face bronzed up, I like to put a little bit of um, blush. And I am in love with Becca Cosmetics. Um, it's an Australian company, but you can get, get it at Sephora. Oh, this can actually be bought at MAC online because it is a pro product, or if you have a MAC pro store, I think I actually bought this on Nordstrom.com. So Nordstrom also carries this particular powder, but again, it's Studio Care Blend Press Powder in medium deep. Um, okay, so moving back on to the Becca um, blush. So this is the color, it's called Wild Honey. And as you can see, it's just a very beautiful bronzy. It has just a little bit of a sheen to it. It doesn't have any glitter in it. It's beautiful, especially paired up with that um, bronzer. Um, and I just run it right under the cheekbone, really um, keeping it very soft. Um, but I don't know, it just kind of gives you that like, it always reminds me of kind of like that JLo bronzy kind of look um, because it doesn't have any pink or peach. It's kind of very neutral in the center, but it just kind of gives you that like, I've been outside and fresh faced. I don't know, like I'm obsessed with it, I love it. And then on top of the cheekbones, I love a little highlight. Um, and for that, I love, oh, and did I say, I think you can get the Becca at Sephora. I can't remember if I said that or not, but yeah, Becca at Sephora or Becca.com or BeccaCosmetics.com, I believe, um, for that. So, um, and yeah, these two are not super inexpensive, but I've had this since the fall and I haven't even nearly hit pan. I've had this since January and I use it every single day, even like before, I, I mean, I use it all the time. So um, I feel like you really do get a lot of bang for your buck. This product, however, I bought at Dwayne Reed, which is owned by Walgreens in their little pop, or not pop beauty, their beauty pop-up shop or whatever that they have. And this is the Mary Luminizer by The Balm. The Balm is a great brand. Um, it's, it's not as cheap as like Revlon, but it's not as expensive as Mac. So I think it's a really good bridge product. And let me tell you, this Mary Luminizer is the most beautiful. I'm gonna have it on today. I don't know if you can see it in the lighting, but it is gorgeous so it's a beautiful champagne neutral colored um um highlight that's going to look from look really good on anybody from light to medium dark once you get to you know medium dark skin and up there is i think it's called they have a cindy luminizer which i believe is a pink one and a betty luminizer and i believe that's the bronzy one so for all you dark skin ladies the betty luminizer from this line is awesome and i think this runs like 15, 16 bucks. And let me tell you, you will, I mean, you will never use all of this in your life. I mean, you need like the smallest amount. So that's that. Okay, moving on. So I don't know if you guys have noticed lately in the past couple of videos, but I have been so obsessed with blue, um, with navy blue, like eyeshadows and eyeliners and all of that jazz because I feel like on brown eyes, I just always go for like the bronzes and the corals and all of that. And I just love putting navy instead of like just putting like a black smoky eye or a gray smoky eye or a bronze smoky eye and I think blue is so different and but you can still make it look really classy and really pretty and I also love the fact that blue is just going to make brown eyes just pop. I have hazel eyes so they really make my eyes stand out. So I've used three products to achieve that look which I'm wearing today. Um, the First, the base is Dangerous Curve. It's a paint pot by MAC. You can see it's kind of like a bluish taupish purplish color and I put that all on the lid um, and then um, I follow up with this 
by Terry Ombre Black Star in the color. Hmm, what color is this? It's the number 14. I don't see a number. If I can find the number, or if I can find the name, if it has a name, I'll put it below. But um, this is one of those cream eyeshadows in a stick. You know, I have the Trish McAvoy ones. But this is a beautiful navy. It has a little bit of shimmer. Um, I follow this up in the outer corner underneath, and then I just smudge it all together, being very haphazard with it. Um, by Terry is an excellent brand. I get this at Bloomingdale's here in New York. You can buy it online. This is not a cheap product, again, but this is something that will last you forever. It is worth it. It smudges beautifully and sets. You'll be, I mean, this has at least a 12 to 14 hour hold. And then I follow it up with a cheaper um, liner, which um, just because this is um, inexpensive doesn't mean it isn't a good product. Remember Jane Cosmetics? Raise your hand if you remember Jane's Cosmetics. Leave me down in the comment below if in high school or junior high you wore Jane Cosmetics. I used to love Jane Cosmetics. Well, they're still around. You can get them online or at Ulta. And their water resistant eyeliner is probably one of the best eyeliners I have ever used. It is the only thing that will stay in my waterline. And this one is in the color Deep Purple, which I love. It's kind of like a midnight purpley navy and I it's gorgeous. And so I put it like in the waterline and on top on my lashes and kind of smudge it in. And it's just a great, 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 great bang for your buck. So Jane, water resistant eyeliner, go pick some of those up. Um, so that's the eyes done. So now body, just really, really quickly, I have two products. Um, one is it's Raining Men Shower Gel from Lush. Loving it. It smells like it says sweet softening shower gel for honey scented skin filled with exotic flowers and oil and all of Mother Nature's best that we could squeeze in. So basically, it's kind of citrusy. It has a very faint floral scent, but it has a very very strong honey scent. So if you like honey things, this is good. I have talked about Lush's shower gels a million times. It they're incredible. They lather. They last. I I just I can't say enough good stuff about that. So. Um, it's raining men and plus who doesn't love that? I mean, come on. Okay. So I got one more body thing. Oh, I feel like I need to take a breath. I feel like I'm trying to like squeeze all this in, but I know these videos get like so long. So I'm literally trying to like get it all in. Um, okay. So one of um, the things that I have been dealing with over the summer is, and it's been really weird. Like I can't figure out what I'm eating. Something I've either been eating or some like something I put on my skin. I can't, I can't is, um, I'm having like this weird reaction on my lips. It's the weirdest thing ever, especially like in the corners they are getting really dry and really, really cracked, which is, you know, kind of normal for winter time, but very odd at this time of the year. Um, but it's been like really painful and kind of just like crusty and gross. You know, sometimes you just get weird things and it's just annoying. So, um, I've, I mean, I have gone through every kind of like lip treatment you can imagine and they just seem to make it more and more irritated. So I just decided to, Keep it really simple. This is like one of the first times I've had lipstick on in a while. I usually don't, I haven't been putting anything on my lips. I've been using um, stuff with all natural ingredients, um, staying away from stuff with parabens or any kind of fragrance or anything on the lips. But then at night, I need some kind of like treatment that's gonna like re-moisturize and take care of, you know, whatever's going on. So I've seen people talk about this a ton. It's the Ube or UB Moisturizing Skin Cream. Um, and it's literally kind of one of those cure all kind of salves. Like you can put it, um, it says you can put it on dry lips, skin, hands, feet. I mean, you can put anything on it. It doesn't have any artificial fragrance, color, um, petroleum or SPF added. I mean, it's just literally like a very, very hydrating um, treatment that you can put anywhere on your body that's really dry. It's got vitamin E, um, B2, um, it's, got, it's, it's just got good stuff. It does have a, a kind of like a heavy camphor kind of scent. Like if you know what that smells like, if you remember like Campho Phenique when you were little and you got like bug bites, it kind of smells like that, but it, it fades like super, super fast. So I've been putting that kind of on my, on the sides of my lips pretty generously and then just wiping the extra on my lips before I go to bed. It's actually really been helping. I've also heard it's good for like eczema or if you have any like dry patches on your face, if you like just treat it for a couple of days with this, um, it's really good. So I've been loving this. I got this at Sephora great stuff. Um, just a couple of fashion things before, actually really like just two fashion things before I'm all done, I promise. Um, when I'm not working out on a bike or anywhere else and in workout clothes, um, I have been really, really, really loving um, high-waisted either pants or shorts or little skirts. 
and pairing them with, I can't even believe I'm about to say this out loud, but pairing them with crop tops. So I have this one from H&M, which is like this really awesome like orange kind of pattern one. It's kind of oversized, so I like to put it with like a really high-waisted black like cigarette pant, like looks really, really chic and fun, and that has been super fun. So I've been like wearing that, and it doesn't really show much. It maybe shows a sliver of skin, but it's super um, flattering. I really, really like that. And then I also got this one at Topshop, and I have a black pencil skirt. Sorry, it's got makeup and all kinds of stuff all over it. Um, but I really, really like this. I've, I've worn it with wide leg pants. I've worn it with pencil skirts. I've worn it with little shorts. I've kind of worn it with a little bit of everything. It has this really cute little scalloped edge on the bottom and um, three quarter length sleeves, a really simple neckline. And I just, I love it. It's super chic, which is like gold jewelry and simple makeup. And um, I really loved wearing that. So it's been fun. Last. But most certainly not least is everybody knows the big Birkenstock trend is, is going on, which I love, and I still want a pair of real Birkenstocks because I've never had a pair. But I was in Zara um, at the beginning of the summer and I saw these, and they're just kind of like their version of Birkenstocks. And I love them because they were like, I think they were $59 and I think they were on sale. I think I got them for 30 or 40% off. So they were super cheap. They kind of give the same effect. I like the pattern. I like they don't have buckles. And I've been wearing these all day every day they're very comfortable so yeah so check zara especially now that everything's on sale end of season you might be able to find those shoes around um let's see did i get through everything oh my gosh i think i totally got through everything oh all right i feel like i need to take like 10 breaths and i'm sure you feel the same way um so anyways leave me down in the comments below and let me know if you like these kind of favorite videos um i've got a lot of new things that i've gotten cosmetic wise um any tutorials you want to see leave down below and yeah, we've got a couple more recipes coming up. Hannah and I are gonna do a $30 sister swap makeup challenge at all drugstore. Um, that's coming up where we each buy for each other and send each other a box and do it. That's gonna be super fun. But yeah, leave me in the comments below anything you would like to see. I would love to know what you're loving. What are your favorites? Like leave me some down below. I'd love to know fitness, beauty, fashion, snacks, whatever. Leave it down below. I'd love to know. So thank you again so much for watching, guys. Happy Vlogist, even though we haven't done any vlogs yet, but vlogs are coming. I'm gonna vlog on Saturday of this week. Um, so that should be coming. And other than that, thank you so much for all your support. Share, like, comment, subscribe. The more we build this community, the better it's gonna be. And um, we are super excited to be spending the month of August with you guys. And as always, we love you. We will talk to you soon. Stay happy and healthy. Bye, guys.